the energy the fans brought tonight? Oh, incredible. You know, from the very first pitch, you know, you know, top of the first or seven in the mound, uh, they were they were ready to go. So it was a fun environment, definitely on a, on a Wednesday night, that's for sure. What's impressed you about what Cabrera has brought to the table since he has been here? Wow, what a what a competitor! You know, every single day in and day out. You know, it doesn't matter the score, the situation. You know, he's up there. You know, giving us great at bats. Um, you know, giving us a chance. You know, when he's playing right field, left field, shortstop. You know, a little bit of first base. You know, just having that versatility with him has been, you know, I think, big big time for our success as, as of late. Did you expect to get another at bat in that eighth inning? It seemed like the team continued to just pass the baton, pass the baton, but it looked as though maybe the seventh inning would be your last opportunity. The guys were locked in, you know, as as a, as the inning was going on, and great at bat after great at bat. Me and Rizzo were kind of sitting up there in top step, and he was the one that told me, he said, hey, you're getting another at bat this inning, so you better lock it in. So it was, uh, we were ready to go. Aaron, are you aware, like, between pitches, how quiet the ballpark gets? I mean, everyone's standing, and, and everyone's so focused on your pitch by pitch. I wonder if you, you sense the silence. Not really. You try to you try to zone everything out, so I think it might kind of <laughs> kind of help a little bit. But, you know, I, I got a job to do when I step up to the plate. You know, I... You know, I'm still competing. We're still trying to win games. So, you know, my, my focus hasn't changed. So I try to tune everything out, the silence and, and the noise. Is it more challenging this week with all this fanfare going on as the week's progressed here to, to tune all that out? Is that... Not at all. You know, Yankee Stadium gets rowdy, so it's it's been rowdy these past couple of days, and this this is this is just how it is. So, I just try to treat it just like any other any other series, any other game, and any other any other moment. So, don't try to don't try to get too big in any moment. Aaron, your final time up. Was there anything that you were even tempted to offer? At? Well, he he was making some competitive pitches. You know, he's got a great change of slider combo. So, you know, he was kind of working those off the edges, seeing if I'd, you know, maybe be a little aggressive and swing. But, you know, I just, I had a plan, stuck to my plan, didn't get anything, you know, where I wanted. And, you know, you take your walk and let Rizzo do the job. Severino back, how important can that be for this team? Big time, you know, especially with, with Frankie going down. You know, Frankie's a big part of our, our rotation, but, you know, now getting Sevy back, who's, you know, another big part of our rotation. You know, what I like what I saw tonight, you know, pumping up there 97, 98, you know, working all his off speed pitches, attacking. I felt like every time I looked up there, it was, you know, 01, 02. Just, he's a bulldog on the mound, and, you know, he's going to be definitely a big piece down the stretch. Do you even hear when you double and there are groans in the stands at home? Well, I think the second double, I didn't know if it was foul. Like, I didn't hear any cheering. I didn't know what was going on, so I didn't know if it was a foul ball or not. But uh, it's, <laughs> you know, they're, you know, fans packed it out to, you know, see us win a ball game and see some homers. So I think i got to cut out this double stuff, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Off the bat, did you wonder if that one had the height, or did you not think that? Oh, not at all. Not at all. It was, you know, a little out in front, top spin. You know, just make sure I get to second base so the guys behind me can drive me in. You said Rizzo told you he thought you were going to get another at bat in that inning. How far into the inning did he call that shot? It was about two batters in, and I was like, "All right, no, I'm locked in." You know, you're always locked in, but you know, he he can he can see the future every now and then, and um, he he was definitely right that time. So I just told him, "Hey, if I'm getting another at bat, you're getting another at bat, so you better be ready too." <laughs>